Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are, 31 May 2020, and we will review the trade from the profile of the 25 last week. Let's go to MetaTrader 4. Okay, so let's start with odd USD. So the vertical line is when I made the profile and we analyzed the last week. So as you can see here, we have an arrow going up and we have a level, strong level of um, support and resistance that will work when it will be broken up. Which means at this specific moment in time, you have two pin bar right here. And you could have eventually enter one of those spin bar at the retracement entry. It's a bit riskier entry. Or you could have waited this angle thing candle right here and take it as a breakout. All those trades are winning trade going up, following the following the arrow. You need to follow the arrow all the time now. Then we have a level of monthly resistance right here. So this one we want to trade as a reversal. So what happened there? We have a pin bar, uh, retracement entry might have touched the stop loss. So this one is a losing trade. And after we have this angle thing, but it's very big, big, big candle. So eventually you could have entered at the retracement of the spike, but not really at the middle of the candle because it's too large. And the retracement of the spike was a winning trade. So we have one win going up, one loss going down, and uh, one win retracement of the spike. Now let's look at OTCAD. OTCAD, what do we get? So you can see monthly support zone right here which means you want to take it as a support. I forget the arrow, but this was a buy signal. And you have like a very strong pin bar. Retracement of the pin right here would have triggered and it's a very huge winning trade. Or you could have entered the W to form with this angle thing right here. And this one is a winning trade too. So there is one win setup right here. And at the top, we have a pin bar retracement entry. This one is also a very huge winning trade. And this daily supply can be taken as a resistance first. And once it's broken up, if it breaks up, it will be as a support for next week. So we have a monthly high for future support right here. So what happened? We have a railroad track right here. Eventually, the middle of the railroad track right here. It's still running around break even right now. We want to follow this arrow going up. So there is no trade on this chart finished. Odd New Zealand. Odd New Zealand, we have a beautiful trade. So first we have a pin bar, retracement entry. The stop loss would have been below the level, of course, all of the time. But it didn't touch the level. So if you miss this specific entry, there is an angle thing up candle right here. And this one is running. So it's a winning setup for this level. Odd JPY. So I wanted to sell this specific level. <coughs> But price made an attempt last week and uh, it could have gone through, that's what it did. So we have a doji at the top, this one is a losing trade. And after we have a very strong pin bar, bearish pin bar. Retracement entry is right here and this one is still running. So we don't know yet. So one losing setup on this specific chart. Odd Singapore. Odd Singapore. So what do we get? We get a very nice pin bar near the level. So when it happened this near this level, I would have placed my stop above the level just right here. So this should not have triggered. Uh, but if it has triggered, and I will count one loss in worst case scenario, you have a bearish angle thing right here. Retracement entry would have been in the middle right here, and this one is running. Made already 1.5 reward and still running. You could eventually place your stop to break even on Monday morning when this will happen, when the market will open. After that, Second setup right here, you have this minor monthly resistance get broken up. And after that, we have a very nice pin bar right here. Pin bar, retracement entry, stop loss right here. And this one is a winning trade. So one losing setup, one winning setup, and one trade which is running. Okay, Euro odd. So Euro odd, I wanted specifically to sell this specific currency. And we had a very nice pin bar right here, retracement entry. Stop loss right here, and this one, it made 1.5 reward, so this is a losing trade. And after, it's quite far from the level, so I wouldn't have taken this specific uh, level as a sell. You could have buy this level once broken up, which is exactly what's happened. 
but since I wanted to the monthly chart was against it, I would just have sell this level. So we have only one losing trade right here. GBP odd. So what happened on GBP odd? We have this nice level that we want to buy or sell depending on the if the level is broken. And we have a pin bar right here and this pin bar is taken out. So after there is a retracement entry <coughs> for this bullish engulfing candle right here. And this one is still running. And might have been taken out as break even. Ah no, actually this one is a winning trade, it made 3 reward. We have 47 pips stop loss and it made 150 pips already. So this one is a winning trade. We have one losing, one winning right here. Okay, CAD CHF, uh, what do we get? We get the level broken violently right here. So I would have buy eventually this level at this pin bar replacement right here. Stop loss right here. And this one made maybe 1.5. So it's a losing setup. And that's the only trade. Because after there is no pattern. CAD JPY. So what do we get? We get the doji broken down. So one losing trade right here. And after we get a pin bar. Retracement entry, stop loss right here. And this one, I believe, 20 pips stop loss in made 59. So you might be at break even actually. So I will not count it, I will count one loss only. CHF JPY, no trade. CHF Singapore, we have a trade. We have this arrow right here to buy this white level, a bit weaker level. And we have an angle thing, a pin bar, bullish pin bar. So you could have entered at the extreme of this pin bar right here or break out making two reward and it made it. So it's a winning setup. Singapore GPY, no trade. Gold, gold, we have a beautiful buy opportunity right here. Bearish pin bar, retracement entry, stop loss, maybe right here. And this one made three reward very nicely. Silver, silver is at the level and made the hammer. So we don't have a trade yet. Euro USD, we had a nice trade, so we wanted to buy. See my arrow going up, we wanted to buy this future support. It breaks up, made a dodgy or an angle thing, and the breakout of this trade is a very beautiful winning trade. And after we have a monthly resistance right here, this was made a pin bar, and it's also more than two reward right now, I believe maybe so 19 pip stop loss. And it made two and a half reward for now. It's running with good profit. So I will count only one trade winning trade right here. Eurocad, uh, Eurocad, it is the same. We have a beautiful trade. Uh, this was an angle thing. The retracement entry of the body worked because it's a very huge candle. So it retraced only 50% of the body. All the breakout made largely two rewards. So it's a winning trade right here for a buy. Euro CHF. Um, what do we get? So we get the price touch our level and reject very violently and it's a very huge candle so if you took the retracement of this railroad track it's a losing trade and after we have an angle thing breaking a bit the level up and this one it's very huge candle so there is no chance yet to enter the trade so there is one losing trade right now for now euro new zealand so euro new zealand we add a pin bar bearish pin bar right here taking out the stop loss and uh, so we have one losing setup right here after that we have an angle thing and the angle thing made a huge two reward already so we have one loss and one win right here but the angle thing was a bit complicated to enter large stop loss so you could have skipped it i count one loss only on this chart but know that the chart and the level worked perfectly even if it took out the first stop loss euro jpy we wanted to buy this level right here. So we wait for the level to be broken right here. And this angle thing is the entry. And it made already two reward. So it's a winning setup. We didn't want to sell this. Euro Singapore. <coughs> so first level, we wanted to sell this. Touch. Actually, we made a pin bar right here. Retracement entry. Stop loss would have been 17 pips. And it made 43. So this one is a break even setup right here. And after break up, angle up, and no chance to re enter. And on Friday, so the next level we want to sell with this arrow. You can see we have an angle thing and it's running with one reward right now. Now, so there is uh, no trade on the previous chart because it's break even. 
so this monthly pin bar top right here we want to buy it so what happened there price break made this dodgy an angle thing and it's a winning buying setup euro knock so eventually we wanted to buy this specific level and uh, we have a dodgy didn't broke up right here so there is no entry we have a pin bar replacement entry right here would have triggered and how many pips was the stop loss 34 and it made 60 so this one is a losing setup and the other one is not yet formed we wait a confirmation around here on monday morning to buy okay jbp usd i had a level i forget the the arrow uh, i wanted to sell this level still but price made a pattern far away from the level so it's not com it's not easy to take this one so i would not have to enter this and after break it and make a railroad track so you might have an enter for a buy right here which is you have one reward profit right now but not completed so there is no trade to count gpchf no trade gp jpy we have a trade a very nice winning trade we have a pin bar right here retracement entry at the level stop loss right here and it's made three reward easily gbp singapore what do we get we get a uh, doji didn't break down because it's not few pips below uh, but eventually if you have entered this trade it made 1.5 reward and it's a breakout entry so you should be eventually break even so I don't count it, but it might be break even. GBP try. The level from last week finally worked, but it's not on this specific profile. There was a level right here. And we have a bullish pin bar right here, retracement entry right here. This one was a winning trade. And on Friday, we have a railroad track, retracement entry, running now with one reward. So no trade to count because they are not completed yet. Euro GBP. What again? We got a pin bar, retracement entry, so this one is a losing trade. I maintained this level from last week, but it was a winning trade from last week actually, with this bearish angle thing candle right here, and breaks the level. So this week, I don't know what it will do, because this looks like nearly a railroad track, plus this indecision candle, so whether price break down or break up might be the direction it will go for two to three days. So one losing setup, on euro gpp gbp sec so gbp sec we got this angle thing from last week and this was a retracement on monday monday triggered and it's a winning trade after that we have a pin bar pin bar retracement entry retracement entry triggered and we have a nice sell and we have a nice buy inside those line after the price make a range right here and break violently down so we have one buy win and one sell win here two winning trade on gbp sec GBP knock. So I wanted to buy this level, and uh, we have an angle thing right here, retracement entry. This one is a losing setup, and this one didn't break up. And this doji eventually break up, so you might be in a buy trade right now with around break even, uh, no win, no loss. So we have one losing setup on this chart. New Zealand USD. We wanted to buy this level once broken, uh, but price made a significant bearish angle thing so i entered this one it made only one reward and after made another uh, pin bar right here so no buy setup nothing to count right here nzd cad i wanted to buy this level but it made a bearish pin bar i took this bearish pin bar as a retracement and this one was a winning trade but i don't count it after that on this level it's a monthly support we want to buy and what happened is first pin but not really confirmed as a, re as a regular pin bar so we i waited this one retracement entry stop loss below it's a dodgy so you could have taken the breakout and breakout you made one reward and retracement entry you made three reward so it's a winning setup so i repeat the arrow are important because they include the monthly trend and so you should respect them so by opportunity here we have a bearish pin bar right here retracement entry stop loss below and this one was a winning beautiful trade beginning of the week price breaks the level try to retest and my stop loss was a bit below actually and this one is a winning trade so one winning setup on new zealand chf new zealand gpy breaks the level as expected but didn't retouch so no setup knock jpy possibility to sell and to buy 
So personally, you have a dodgy, you could have taken this breakout and it's a losing setup. Or there is also this railroad track, which is a losing setup also. So I will count two loss right here. Uh, I, I have waited personally this zone because this zone for me is the strongest zone to reject. So, you know, if there is two zones like that, the strongest is the farther away. And there is this 800 EMA right here that the price just touched. So it's a good entry zone to take a trade for a sell right here. But I still count two losses on this chart. Now, sec GPY. We want to buy. And what do we get? Violent break of the level. Doji didn't break up. Doji break up. And this one is a winning beautiful trade. USD cat the break the level but didn't make a pattern retouching it so we have no trade usd jpy same no level touch no trade usd chf so usd chf is at a nice level uh, but didn't make any pattern yet so i wait for the price to come into the zone on monday and see what it will do for a buy or it might break it and i will search for a sell depending on the price usd singapore nothing usd zar there was a beautiful trade right here. So price didn't touch. This is most of a dodgy. You have a bullish pin bar right here, retracement. Retracement entry, you have like 70 pip stop loss and it made, so it's a break even for this one. After you have a little railroad track followed by this bullish nice engulfing good size. So this one was my entry point, my stop loss right, right here. And this one is a beautiful winning trade. 86 pip stop loss and it made 250 already 280 actually so even with the spread if the spread is a bit large it's uh the target profit has been taken it's a beautiful winning trade right here usd polonia this one was tricky last week yeah? so we have a pin bar losing setup right here made another pin bar another winning setup so i i count two losses right here and i advise if you take two losses on a level you just stop taking the level anymore and after that, what do we get? We got this time an angle thing right here. And on the next level, you have eventually this bullish pin bar right here, which is uh, tac, 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 140 pip stop loss and made 240. So this one is a losing setup. So we have one, two, three losing setup here and one bullish angle thing triggered for an entry for a buy. One running trade, three losses. Set USD Danish Krona. So what do we get? Railroad track right here, retracement entry. This one is a losing setup. After come down, bullish angle thing right here. So eventually a buy possible, or eventually you have a bearish uh, pin bar. Beautiful pin bar right here, actually. Sorry. So the retracement entry was right here. Stop loss was right here. And this one, so let's say 100 pips stop loss, and it made 280, nearly 3 pips. 3, three one. So your stop loss is at break even now and you wait to see if it will trigger the three reward. So just one losing trade on this chart. USD CNH. So beautiful, beautiful chart, right? You wanted to buy at this level and it made an angle thing, bullish angle thing, stop loss right here. And it's a beautiful winning trade with more than six reward right here. After that, at the monthly resistance, we want to get down to sell. Pin bar, breakout, retracement didn't reach, and this one made three reward also. So we have two winning trades right here. GBP, New Zealand. So what do we get? We got a tricky, tricky, tricky bullish pin bar right here. Retracement is a losing trade. And after we have another bullish pin bar that I took. And this one, I believe, is a winning trade. 50 pip stop loss, and it made 180. So we have one losing trade right here and one winning just below. And that's it for the profile. So we got 22 winning trade times three reward, 66 reward, minus 19 risk losses. We make it 47 reward profit all in all. So you multiply 47 reward times your size, which is 2% usually, you get 94% profit for the week using this specific profile. I hope you took advantage and I wish you success for next week with the next profile. Bye everyone. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful.
Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.